Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the vintage paper girl. Welcome to my studio. It's a beautiful Wednesday and bright and sunny. We're due for rain for like another 10 days. So I thought I'd take advantage and do a video. So welcome, welcome to my studio, everyone. Welcome to all of my friends and to everyone who's new for the first time. I'm excited that you're here. Hopefully you find something you like and you'll subscribe like and comment so anyway let's get busy all right so as you may have heard if you are out there in the junk journaling world there is junk journal january by make journals and everyone's doing it so guess what i felt like i normally don't don't um jump into these things but i decided this time i would so Anyway, um, before I get going, how are all of you? Are you all good? Everybody feeling well? Everybody tip top again? Um, hopefully you're all doing well. Greg and I are doing well. Our COVID is gone. We're just dealing with, you know, kind of the sinus junk after the cough, a little bit of a cough and runny nose, you know, that kind of stuff. But otherwise, I consider us well considering how we were a couple weeks ago. We weren't sure we were going to make it through. But thanks to the antiviral shot we got, because we're over 50, that was approved for emergency use and our age and our health, we were able to get it and bounce out of it quicker than probably I think we would have. So anyway, things are better. So anyway, I started this. This is my journal strictly for junk journal. Junk journal January, probably junk journal July. Now, um, I knew with my being sick and everything, I wasn't going to have time to actually make a full journal. So what I did is I bought one online from a journal maker and it came, I didn't know how the cover was going to come because it just said, pick a title. I chose great romantic stories, which you could sort of see there. Let me see what you see. Let's see how close I need to be because I don't have my hot light today. Yay. Um, which means I have more room. Um, when I, That's there. It's really hard to show you guys stuff and, you know, not get blurry everything. So anyway, I just chose the cover. So I didn't know what color it was going to be. I didn't know anything else. So I got it and it was this tomato red, which yuck. I didn't like it at all. So um, I covered it with ballet and music images, which I love the ballet. Grew up as a ballerina, which we talked about. Had planned to be a professional until I blew out my knee. Um, so I had to give that up. And um, I love music, of course, because every ballet session was classic ballet music. So um, all the greats, Chopin, Brahms, you know, all of those. So Tchaikovsky. Um, so I thought... This would represent me, and it's Junk Journal January, and it's supposed to have something that means something to you. Of course, vintage laces, as you know, and bling, a little bit of bling, and not a ton, just a little. I don't want to overdo it. So that's me as a little girl. No, not really, but, you know, represents that and the great classics. And so anyway, and this paper, the ballet paper, except for this, this is Tim, uh, Tim Holtz, but the ballet paper, that, that, and all of this is from Ruby and Pearl XO. So that's where you could find that. So anyway, my cover's finally done. I've been working on that frantically um, because when I got it, I thought, oh yeah, I'm ready to go. And then on the first, I realized <laughs> I don't have a cover. So I got that done. Um, I am using a true junk journal. I'm going to show it to you. We'll go over the other stuff later. But as you can see, it is full of all kinds of things. So the tough part is the pages are all different sizes. So some I'll be able to use, some I won't. Some I'll leave the same. Some I'll just cover for the heck of it. So it's a real junk journal. And I got it from, let's see. Um, I just went online and looked for junk journals. And believe it or not, hardly anything came up. Uh, Timelessly Perfect is the lady who created this one. She did have quite a few in her shop. So if you want to go look for a junk journal and you don't have time to make one and you want to get and you want to do this, Timelessly Perfect on Etsy.com. So that's who I bought it from. She was fabulous. Um, so very nice. Talked to her a little bit. Um, some messaging back and forth about the outrageous shipping rates. The shipping was actually more than the journal. It was crazy. So we chatted about that for a bit. Um, so anyway, this is, it's a smaller journal. It is not very big. Um, let's see, how big is this one? I was hoping it was bigger, but that's okay. You know, I don't really, it was, it's, this one's five and a quarter. Well, no, that's standard journal size by eight, five by eight, five and a quarter by eight. So it's a standard journal size. I'm just used to either really big, <coughs> excuse me, hold on.
<clears throat> my throat just dried out and split on me. Sorry about that. Um, I, I, guess, I guess I'm just used to eight and a half or nine inches tall. So it's the same width as it should be. It seems small, but you know what? I'm excited about it because it's an art journal. I usually use a bigger uh, journaling pad to do my, like my um, collage in. So yeah, this is smaller. I was looking for my collage journal so I could show you what I was talking about. Now, I love to do collage, so, and I never make it past the first seven days. <laughs> so, but this is what my um, collage journals look like. See how big it is? It's huge. I did Marguerite Miller. I started it last year. I didn't finish, so she said, I talked to her a little bit about it, and she said, just do it. Don't look at the dates. Just go prompt by prompt and play, you know, so I may go back to it because I really love it, and it's something for me. Um, and I decided I would show you a few pages every now and then in this one to make it a little bit different. Maybe um, inspire you to do something different than what you're normally doing. You know, my word for this year is completion or finish. But I am starting something. But then also under that completion or finish is going to be my um, collage book. So this collage book, whew, it's a biggie. See, I'm used to working in eight inches by... 8 by 10. So you can see where a 5 by 8 is a whole lot smaller than I'm used to. But it's good. It, I don't have to fill up so much space. Won't be so daunting. Um, we have prompts. And so I mounted mine on just some brown packing paper um, to give it some heft. And then I put in a little clear pocket because I didn't. This is the name of our shop, Timelessly Perfect. I didn't realize it. But she stamped it on here, so I didn't want to cover it up. So I just put a clear pocket on her a library pocket. And then the leaves were already on there, and I thought it was beautiful. But I decided to put a little saying. It says, dream, play, live, laugh, love, be grateful for a new year, and all of the wonderful things to come, January. I didn't put a date on it because I thought, you know, I might, until I fit, fill it up, I'll keep working on it. So I'll put January here, July. Maybe there'll be room for another January. I don't know. Depends if I do all 31. Um, the first one was resolutions. Now, I don't make resolutions, as you know, but I did choose a word for the year, and my word is completion. So I threw that on a little card and decorated this a little pocket. So if I want to write something about completion, this is my word to remind me. And then this is day one right here. Junk Journal January. Add a little... Um, picture of myself, current picture, um, flowers, uh, ribbon, a map, a map because this is going to be kind of a map of where I'm going this year, my feelings, what I'm thinking, what something means to me. This is an art journal. This is not something I'm going to write in. Um, I might write on a piece of paper and stick it in a pocket or add it somewhere or, and I'm going to be putting in sayings or, you know, like this. Um, I'll add that periodically. But anyway, I used this was a tissue paper map. Um, music, as you know, is a big plays a big part in my life. I always have it on. I have roses. You know my love for roses and pinks. Um, so it, each of these things represents something to me for this year. And then I just decorated up this little pocket because it was plain. And that little piece of junk paper was already in here. Um, it's a piece of junk ephemera. Um, Glad to hear somebody over your way is considering building a house of native stone. We're really happy with ours, especially the fact that it's all paid for. We sincerely hope our book will instruct and encourage your right way. Oh, so it's something that came with a book that she stuck in there from a library. But I thought I could write on the back or leave it as it was. So it's just a little piece of vintage ephemera that was in here. And this is a vintage uh, library book page. So I left that there and decorated it. So... I did all that. Now today, or day two, which was yesterday, is starry. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go day by day or just pick things that I like. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. I, I just, I'm going to try to go day by day unless it's just something I can't think of anything to do. Starry is fairly easy. Stained, mm, I might do okay with that. Decorated tag, obviously, that's pretty easy. So we'll see about that. So today we're working on starry, something to do with stars. So I thought I would do that with you guys, do a little crafting, get myself my mojo back and going again. So I already started the page. Um, I covered it in this beautiful paper. Um, I 
forget who this is by. One sec. I have it right behind me. This is Paper Cameo Let It Snow Pink Christmas um, is what I'm using for that. And the and in that kit, there were two kits that I'm using. There's that one. And then I'm using um, Paper, let's see, Paper Cameo Pretty Christmas is got a lot of stars in it. So between the pink and the pretty uh, Paper Cameo, um, it had a beautiful little envelope called Written in the Stars. Isn't that perfect? So I'm going to find a way to use that. And then all these bits and pieces have stars on them. So I was going to see, I grabbed all kinds of star things and see how maybe I could uh, decorate this up. Um, I'm going to use that. And then I, I think um, I saw someone else using their, I'm looking for my big clips to see if I have a big clip here. I actually have a bigger one I might have to get out and use because I don't think... I don't know if that's going to hold the page in place. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. So, all right. So this already has some stars on it, but I want to enhance the stars a bit. So what I thought I would do is get out some stickles and um, see what I could do to bring out the stars in the paper and then maybe put something... Um, on top now I have stars that I cut out using my big shot but I also have a few that I I did um, using the German glitter glass so I may use some of those I came across this pretty little star which I could use on here somehow put some stuff below it I also have some pretty tags which what I'm thinking of doing honestly is I made this into a pocket I put it on and I um, let me grab. Okay, so I left this a pocket. And what I want to do is I want to keep this envelope and I want to put it there so I can see written in the stars and kind of a future thing. And then this opens up, see, and it says written in the stars again. And then there's all these stars. So I thought I would just maybe play and decorate this a little bit. Um, and then maybe that is where I would store some tags. And I thought what the tags could be is maybe to put my thoughts on, um, maybe do a little, a little thinking about, uh, the future, you know, to me, the stars are the future. Now I could have gone the Bethlehem way, religious way, uh, angels, but I decided not to do that. Um, so I was thinking what could happen is it would go like this. And then um, I could just store that like this and keep that in there. Um, or, you know, I have this I could use, which has stars on it. And I thought, well, I could play with that a little bit and maybe add an image. So that's kind of where I'm at. I don't, I don't really, I don't know what I want to do. So that's sort of what I'm thinking. So I think for right now, we can um, play with this a little bit. There are stars all over it. So I thought, well, if I can get this to come out, we're gonna be golden. What are you guys up to? Anything new? What you making? How many of you are doing this challenge? Anybody doing this challenge besides me? I mean, I know there's Pixie K is doing it. Pixie K Designs. Hi, sweetie. I know Dreams Etc. is doing it. Um, I'm having trouble with this one. I don't really like this gold. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't care for it. I think I'm going to try to rub it off. I don't really like it. Here, this is an oldie. And if it leaves gold behind, that's fine. But I just really didn't care for that. Okay, so that gold, I don't know. Um, let me try my diamond because I really like my diamond glaze. Anyway, uh, I know Pixie K is, I know Nazzy is, um, from, um, just blinked out. Sorry, honey. Amity Bloom. Um, let's see who else. Dreams, et cetera. Um, 
Rachel at Roxy Creations, they are all actually participating and they all have a video. Each one has a video for the day they're assigned. Um, so you'll have to watch for that. And Meg at Make Journals, she's fabulous. I just found her having fun with this whole thing. I forget who I saw her talk. Oh, and um, Carol Laws is doing it. I think I saw Carol was the one who talked about it. So I don't remember who the very first person is, but I know a lot of you guys are doing junk journal January and we're getting your journals ready which inspired me and I'd already ordered mine I had I actually get Meg's newsletter so Meg's newsletter came she was talking about it so that's when I ordered my book or tried to put it off because I was put off by the holiday shipping so I waited a few days and of course the shipping cost went down just a bit so I was really happy with that Boy, I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry I don't know this might be a big mistake so so we can't really do anything with it. All right. So I have added stickles to give it some dimension. Um, you may hear some noise through my window, and that is the street sweeper. It's street sweeper day. It's on the street behind me, so it's coming in the window. I'm, a, I'm on a two-story. My studio is two-story. And I'm hoping today, when I'm done here, to clean up and do a video of my room. Every day I've tried to do one, it's been too dark. Uh, we've had so much rain, which I'm thrilled. I'm not complaining. I'm in California. We're in full drought. So, okay. So we have our stars. And I was also thinking I might use my vintage stars on here to, to bump it up. I'm not sure what else to do. I guess I could work on decorating our our thing here. I uh, Do I have a gold pen? I know I have a silver pen, but I don't think I have my gold pen out. The gold, um, no, I don't. I don't really want to go look for it either. I was hoping I had one in here, and I, unless I have one over here. Oh, let's see what this one looks like. I don't know. Let me see if I can find a piece of junk paper here. Ah. So, you guys have plans for your new year do you guys plan your year like i know i was listening to some of them say that oh they have all these exciting plans for their youtube channel and i'm sitting there going hmm i don't i i don't pre-plan oh well this writes metallic marker i got this at dollar tree so i don't know how good it is but i was thinking what i could do was maybe bump up the um, the writing on this. I like the way she has it, but I want to add some sparkle. Uh, I could do my Wicca Stella, maybe. Just thinking, just playing. I don't really have a big plan here. May or may not finish it. I don't know. Wicca Stella gold, but I think I might want the clear. I don't even know if these pens are any good. I haven't taken them out in so long. Oh my gosh. It's called Wick Estella. Wick, Wink of Stella. W-I-N-K brush. And it adds sparklies to your work. I haven't used it in so Oh, long. oh my gosh, I don't even know the last time I used it. I don't even know if I used it last year, really. I used to use it all the time. I have a couple of them. Let's see what's this one. Clear. Yeah, that might get me what I'm looking for. Let's see. I kind of want to go over. The lettering. Oh, whoa, whoops, I picked up. What, what color is this? Wait, this didn't say gold. Did it say gold? No, it says clear. 
Look at the color I'm getting. Oh, and it's making a mess everywhere. Uh-oh. Jeez, what happened here? Hmm, all over my mat. That's what color it's supposed to be. Well, all right. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere. Well, we got quite a bit of Wick of Stella on there now. Wink of Stella. I'm about to give up on this idea. I'm not getting where I want to go with it. Yeah, I'm struggling with this, so I don't really know that I want to struggle on camera. It's leaking all over the place. I don't know. Might have to order some new pens this year and then... I don't know. I wanted to enhance the writing on this, but I'm not getting where I want to go with it. So I give up. All right. I give up. I know there's a gold one, but oh, it's probably a nightmare. Ooh, the whole thing came apart. Oh my. Yeah, I've had these too long. That gold is not the color I would want to use anyway. Okay, might be that I'm going to have to get some new pens. I think I'm going to order a new set of those. Ugh, yuck. All right. Um, I may be giving up on this whole idea in a minute, so... That gold's pretty dark, and it's not a pretty shiny gold. It's a flat gold, so that's not what I want either. All right, I give up. Okay, so, but you get the idea of what I wanted to do with this. Um, I want to put an image on here, and I'm thinking I might use this goose because he's got all these darling little stars over his head. So I'm thinking that I could use an image and do... Um, put some music behind it and some other things, but I've gone and got this page wet. I am just fed up with myself right now. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, I should have waited. Well, I really wanted to get those on there, but I should have waited. Because it's all wet. And I don't know if I used my glue gun, if it would right or not. Do I have my glue gun close by? Um, you know, guys, I don't know where my ended up putting my glue gun. I thought it was in my toolbox here. Hold on a minute. Sorry about that. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, we're just playing today. I don't have anything specific. I'm just going to say play, come play. Because, you know, I don't want you you guys disappointed that, oh, she didn't do anything specific today. She wasn't teaching anything. No, not today. Definitely not today. I still don't have my mojo back 100%. Still struggling with my creativity. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, turn down your sound. Give me a minute. I do not know how to fast forward my videos, so, or edit, nor do I want to take the time to learn. At my age, I just don't really care. Yeah, it's hot. I've had this heat embossing gun for, oh, 10, 15 years maybe, but I don't use it very often, so it looks like it's brand new. I don't know if you guys could hear me. It looks like it's brand new. It's a heat embossing tool. Let me see. Mm, not really. That stuff, you can't make it dry fast. Oh, well, I regret doing that. All right, so today we're having a day of regret. All right. Yeah. 
I do not like how that was coming out either. But you know, you don't know. It's an art journal. So I'm playing with my art papers, my art stuff, my everything, right? So what I will do is I will think I'll get the background done and then I, I know what I'm going to do to fix that. So I have a fix for it. It's not like I don't. I do. Um, let me get back on the middle of the page here. I think I was I off. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Let's see what time is it. Time's a wasting away. But I don't think any time crafting is a waste, honestly. Um, I do want some music paper. Let me see. I had some I was playing with yesterday. I have fallen in love with using the real music paper, not digitals. Yeah. Which makes it hard because oh, I hate cutting it up. But you got to do what you got to do, right? So I did buy a bunch of old music just for that. So let me... This is some gold ink. I think it's just Dollar Tree. But I like it a lot. It's an old gold and it's it adds a little sparkle but doesn't like make it crazy. I don't know if this will stay on here because this is a very smooth... Um, they're little tags, gift tags, star gift tags, but I thought it would work for this. Okay. All right. Um, where'd my lid go? Oh, it's clear. All right. And what I would like to do is maybe put a little bit of music paper behind that. Now, I have my bag of goodies, and I was throwing that music paper in there as I was ripping it up. So I have some little bits. Maybe I could use a little bit of tissue. I think what I'll do is I'll put that on there. Make a little cluster. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to cluster. All right. So let's see what's new around here. Not a lot. Um... We are finally feeling better, at least as good as we can feel. Poor Greg's got that nasty cough that comes with this, and it has been very hard on him. So keep prayers up for him. I would appreciate because he's the one who posts my videos and makes everything happen. So we can't have anything happen to Mr. Greg or there will be no videos. We, I still have my Christmas up. I haven't felt good enough to take it down yet. So I'm kind of in that um, where I need to, I need to get the Christmas put away. Gosh, it was all about cutting the Christmas up. Now it's all about taking the Christmas down. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness. It's never ending, right? And then, which you guys don't want to hear, I'm sure I need to pack up. I mean, unpa finish unpacking. My library is still in books and boxes of books everywhere. My guest room, which is also my shipping room for my business, is full of boxes. It needs to be finished so that I can ship out orders on Etsy. You don't see a lot of that tissue, do you? Well, we can add more. I feel like it needed more. It needs more. So I've got that to do. Um, and then I still have to go through some magazines and books in my sewing room and get rid of some of that. Um, what else do I need to do? Um, 
oh, of course, a good house cleaning after the holidays. Because I don't do, I vacuum and all that other stuff, but I don't do a lot of dusting because I have so much stuff on the furniture. Taking the, ch I mean, I dust around things, but I really need to pull everything off when I put all the Christmas stuff away and give it a good polish the furniture. Oh. And then our big project is cleaning our garage this year so I can get my ping pong table up in my garage. A few years ago for Mother's Day, my husband bought me a beautiful ping pong table. It was out in the backyard, but with my health and COVID and everything, we kind of stopped. I think he bought it right just before COVID hit, so I never really got to use it um, with my grandkids and stuff. So we decided what we want to do is it folds up and rolls away real easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it up in the middle of the garage, make a little play area out there. Well, and then we have our, our workbenches and stuff, but it's going to be kind of our play area for have the grandkids come over and play ping pong with grandma. Now they're bigger too, both of them. So it'll be easier for them, the, the little, the youngest to play. Cause she really struggled with it, but she wanted to play so bad. Oh my gosh. She really did. I like that. It's just a fun little, no meaning, just for fun. Just to have something on the page. I'm just doing a little collage and no excitement, just stars and what will be. So we have the garage cleanup project. Oh, it's huge. Um, we already did some, but once I won't be able to do more until I have the... Um, boxes out of there the Christmas boxes and then um, the uh, moving boxes for the library and stuff I have to get all that out of there so that's next big big project and I have like a million Amazon boxes in there shipping boxes because I didn't know if I was going to make it in time which if I hadn't gotten COVID we had planned to put a bunch of stuff in our Etsy and then we also, you know, have plans for our kits this year. We have some pretty shabby chic pink kits that we plan to put out. We're going to do about, we're going to do six of those or limited edition. With things from my stash and new things. And it's going to be a fun little kit. Maybe we'll come up, try to come up with a project to go with it. For those of you that are interested in having one of the kits. Um, okay, it looks like that's all glued on. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you could see that the, it removed all the stars. So when I, when I tried to, um, wipe off the stickles because I didn't like it. So everywhere I did that, I am going to use one of these, um, vintage stars the Denison Vintage Embossed Stars. I'm going to put one there. So we won't see the damage from the... It's what I was going to do originally, and then I thought, oh, I'm going to get, you know, crafty. Ha! Huh. That was not the best idea. So now I'm just going to put these stars over the ones that were badly damaged. I don't know. Is my head in the camera? I feel like I'm in the camera today. I'm off. Got to get this new year ro rocking and rolling. Uh, I didn't sleep the first two days of the new year at all. I don't know what happened. I just stopped sleeping. And um, doctor says it's just the COVID, the remainders of it. Um, but um, so... I didn't sleep at all, so I ended up with a nasty migraine, and so this is my, really, the first day of the new year for me, even though we're a few days in already, but that's okay. There we go. This is kind of what I had in mind to begin with, was to use these little stars in place of those other ones. And then later I will decorate up my envelopes, my envelope with the tags and put them in, put them in. And I, and I'll show you what I ended up ultimately doing. Um,
you know, on my next video. Sorry, I, I'm having trouble thinking and talking today, which is not usually a problem for me, as you guys know. <laughs> uh, but it's when you're creating on the fly, it's very difficult uh, when you're doing these collages. And um, it's why I don't collage generally on video. A lot of people do their collages on video. I find it hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I can't have an even number. Don't, no, no, no. It needs to be an uneven number. Nine. There. Got our uneven number. Okay. So that's starry. And all these other goodies I will be using, but I don't know where yet. Um, so I may write, just write the word starry right there. What do you guys think? I think that's a good idea, right? I think I could do that. And that would be um, a good thing to do. I didn't even end up using in that, but you know. Uh, so I don't want to use any of these. A star and a star. Nah, I think I'll just leave it with what I've got for right now. If I decide to go back and add some, I'll show you guys in my next video. Um, I did go around the edges with the gold. And it doesn't show up all that well. But, oh gosh, do I want to write this in front of you guys? I don't know. All right, so there we go, starry. So that's the first one. And then when I get a chance, I will do some work on these envelopes and I can let them dry, you know, and then I'll show you if I enhanced it. So that is day two. Day three, which I'm sure I'm not gonna do on camera, is stained. But what I thought I would do is use some of my Tim Holt, Tim Holt stains or my, um, I thought I would do some play at playing with my distress inks and things for stained and, and find a page in here. Um, I don't think this gray would work that well. So I would probably maybe make it on a different paper and then glue it in there. And that would be day three. Oh, this is day two. So that also means I want to put a little two on there. So I knew which number it was, whether it's going to be the day or number. I don't know, but let me, I put made a copy of some numbers so that I could do this. I didn't do a very good job of cutting it out, I'll tell you. I'll just put a little two up there. That's fine with me. I'm not trying to be real fancy. I just want to do a little creative play in my book. There we go. I do have another project for Friday. Um, and then at that time, I can show you whatever I did for the rest of the week if I did any more of these. Darn, now I'm at an even number of stars again. <laughs> I can't have that. It'll make me crazy. It has to be an uneven number. I don't know why. It's just some something in our heads, I guess, from what I understand. But... I really love these Dennis and Stars, so I'm happy to have them in here, you know, for as a memory. They, I've had them forever in a day, good 30 plus years, maybe 40 years, I don't know. But they used to be in my desk. I would put them on the kids' um, homework when they brought them home. When they got an A, they got a star. So I think I bought them at like Fry's or Long's Grocery, Long's Drug Store. That's a blast from the past. Whoa. If you live, ever lived in California, you know what Long's Grocery, Long's Drugs is. It's kind of equivalent to CVS or Walgreens, you know, big chain at the time. All right, so Starry's done. That's number two. This was number one. Number two, 
number three will be stained and I will probably do that off camera. I don't see me doing that, um, but I want to introduce you to Junk Journal January and periodically I will show you what I have done. I doubt, uh, unless it's a project I'm super excited about, I maybe decorated tags. Maybe we can decorate a tag for day four. What day would day four be, you guys? Is that, it's not today. I think, where's my, I'm looking for my iPad with the calendar on it because I don't have a calendar in here. Can you believe it? Oh, I should have one, huh? You would think, right? Um, where's my calendar? Oh, this is day four. Oh, I'm behind two. Oh, you guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I need to decorate a tag for today. And I need to do stained. So, goodness gracious. Well, I guess I'm going to be busy today after my video here, working in my little book and finishing up Written in the Stars. I love that. I was trying to find a way to put it in there. So I thought, well, if I did it that way, and then you open it up and you would see Written in the Stars, right? That's how I'm thinking it's going to go, like that. So I'll use stained over here, and then I need to do a tag. So maybe I can do some tags and put them on here. I'll decorate up some tags and um, put them on here. Or I may grab from my stash some ladies' tags that I made lace tags and put one there for day four. So day six would be the next time you would see it. So what would I be doing while I'm off camera? I have a lot to do. I'll be doing stained, decorated tag. Routine day six is stitched. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to use for stitched. So we'll see. Maybe that or I'm going to get my sewing machine out and do some hand, uh, some sewing machine stitching and some hand stitching. We'll see. Kind of depends on how I'm feeling. So that is the end of that little project. Oh, I'm going to put this away before I end up wearing it. And let me put that up. What time do we have? Let's see. Whether I'm going to call it a video. I might call it a video, guys. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I did see a fun thing that I wanted to make um, on G. Kerr's um, happiness and crafting video. She made the cutest paper clips. And you guys know, if you've been with me since last year, you know I have a thing for paper clips, right? So she was making these adorable paper clips. And she was using little 4x4 four four, um bits and she made these darling little uh paper clips so what i want to do what you do is you take a little four by four piece you fold it in half you fold it in thirds then you open it back up and you fold down the edges and you cross them over right and then you can put a little note in there and you can add your little paper clip at the top so i will need to grab gold paper clips. You guys, I know I have a ton, but when I moved to my room, uh -huh. they were kind of where I thought they would be. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Oh, sorry. Ouch. Smacked my finger really hard. Oof. Oh, I broke the skin. Ow. Okay, I hit that harder than I thought. So what I wanna do is I wanna ink this. You don't have to, everybody has their own thing, their own aesthetic. I'm an inker, sometimes more than others, sometimes heavily, sometimes just barely get the edge. Depends what I'm making or doing. Sometimes I don't do it at all. Okay, so what I want to do now, this is just regular 32 pound hammer mill paper, nothing exciting, but it is requiring some burnishing. There, all right. But before I do close that up, I want to these are tiny little paper clips. I don't usually use a small paper clip, but today I guess I can. 
and I'm going to take and put some glue there. See, we have our paper clip there. And then you could cut that extra bulk out of there if you wanted to. I, I don't know if it would give you the feel that you want, though. So I don't know. All right, now I'm going to want to close that over. And then I'm going to want to... Oh, I changed the tip on my glue. I had a really tiny little blunt tip, and I don't know if it broke. I broke it or what, but I pulled out one of my other ones, um, but it was all goopy inside because I hadn't used it in a long time, so it was kind of st sticky. I had to uh, do the old boil your glue cap. I, I took off the whole thing because it was just off. I tried to get it out of there, but really wasn't easy. So what you have now is this adorable little, okay, now the goal though is to put a little piece of paper in there. So let me see. I'm grabbing my scraps. What I need is a piece that is a two by four piece of paper. I think the first thing I'll do is get my four, which is my length, which is the most important part. There we go. And we only need it two inches wide, otherwise it won't fit in there. Right. And I think she, I wonder if you fold it in, that's too much. So you probably want to fold it in thirds again. I'm just not sure if it'll fit in there. So just give me a minute here. I, I watched you do this and I, no, yeah, see that doesn't. Anyway, you just want to put a little scrap in there, a little to write on, a little notebook scrap. There we are. And you just put that in there and you have a little, boy, be careful with your glue though, because <sighs> I have to go back and watch her video and see how big her paper was. I know she did punch the edges right there like that, like I just did, to make it fit in there better. There, isn't that adorable? And then if you wanted, you could put some little, you can decorate your front with a word or like a little, um, like a little piece. Let's see, I don't know what I have in here. Let me see. I don't know if I have anything that would look good with that green. Oh yeah, I do. I thought I might spend some time today making some pink paper clips, you know, to put on my, my, um, she wrapped some pretty little string around it too, which I don't know that I have in fibers, fiber string, fibers, fiber string, I don't know what you want to call it, um, yarn, whatever you want to put around it. I'm looking to see what I've got. I don't have anything in green. That might be too bulky. Let me see what else I've got. I got a lot of, uh, what have I got a lot of? Colors. Okay. Oh, perfect.
This is a really hard thing to tie. I want you to know. Because you end up getting all the little eyelash part, but not actually the string part. And then I'm looking for the top and the bottom, and there is one on this for real. I don't know. I mean, you probably need the fabric one of that. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so let me clean that off. I don't end up closing that all up. I think we're about out of time, guys. So, well, thanks for hanging out there with me. Not my most exciting video for my first one for the new year, but you know, you gotta get going. I, I did do the other one, the lace toppers. That was my first one, actually, on Monday. Um, so I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's if this is your first time being here with me since uh, the New Year started. But there we have a really cute, I'm going to take these other pieces of paper and make some of these. I'm going to make them neutral too. But there you have a cute little paper clip. Isn't that adorable? I really like that. G. Kerr does have a full video out if you want to go check her video on how to make these. Otherwise, I'll replay it. Oh, I better clean up some of this mess, guys. We don't really want to leave the field with a huge mess. And thanks for letting me share with you my junk journal, January journal. I'm very excited about it. It's an artsy thing, and I can't wait to do more of it. So thank you so much for that. And I can't find my little remote to turn off my camera, so I guess I'm going to have to stand up and do it. All right, you guys, take care. I will see you on Friday, um, and then we will do a fun project. If I can get myself together and we'll get busy and um I think that'll be a fun project and then we'll see what else we're going to do then I think we'll be back to our seamstress notebook we need to work on that some more because that's part of my finish it up well completion part of my word for the year is completion so that's what we're going to do uh next week so thanks for watching everyone I love you all I hope to see you all very soon hugs and kisses bye bye